Who's the most legitimate Hollywood tough guy, in your opinion, you accepted, of course? I mean, Stephen, for real, if he was on the street and there was a situation, you wanted this Hollywood guy by your side because he could defend himself. It's that hard to think of a legit one? Can you think of one? Michael Jai White. Can I laugh in your face? Really? Yes. Thoughts on Jean-Claude Van Damme? Can I laugh in your face? Chuck Norris? I mean, Chuck is in his mid-70s. He's probably 76 years old, OK? 75, 76 years old. Interesting. So I don't know. I don't, I, I've heard that he's not, you know. Dolph Lundgren, Kyokushin Karateka, used to be competitive. Oh, he's a very nice guy. Do I think he's a, a tough guy and a great martial artist? He's just a great guy. And Champion martial artist would be a big guy with a kind of middle European accent. I ran into a bookstore once and I went over to say hello to him and he said, Get the hell away from me, I'm going to kill you. He's a little Huh? Was it Steven Seagal who told you that? What? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know, he looks like he might. I, I have never met him, but he looks like he, he could be annoyed on some days. Has he ever crunched your instep or anything? Or just, no. Uh, they, you know, they wouldn't dare. Menacing, really rotten kind of guy image that he projects is, is, is carries over. Largely it. acting, is it, or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> He carries over in his whole life. Really? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. He carries a gun with him everywhere he goes. He carries what? He has a gun on him. Where does he carry it? Huh? On his hip, on his leg. No <laughs> kidding. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. I don't walk around with bodyguards on stuff. Sorry to hear how undesirable a guy Seagal is, because I'm going to take his picture down from beside my bed. <laughs> what about the other sort of tough guy movie karate guys like John claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal who could, and you? Who could beat up who? <laughs> that is the, probably the most common question to ask of me. And the thing is, it's hard to say. You know, Jean Claude, when he first came over from Belgium, he trained with me for a year and a half. Uh, but the thing is, is that I fought. I was a professional fighter right. for about 12 years. So I know what it's like to be in the arena and, and yeah. facing off. They're just actors. Well, no, they're martial artists, too. Oh, they are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you beat them? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. No, I mean, just between you and me. Yeah. I won't tell anyone. Just, you know, I, just between you and me. I'd kick their butt. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You know, do you know Van Damme? No. Uh, <laughs> you, you've heard of him? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> what, what do you think of, of his work? As a martial artist first. And he was like a, a champion somewhere, and right? I mean, mm -hmm. um, I think that that's a matter of opinion that he was a champion anywhere. You know. <laughs> I think I wish the guy all the best. But there are an awful lot of people who say that that's not true. Que tu te serais engueulé très très fort avec Steven Seagal dans son dans sa villa à Miami. Non, pas engueulé. Il y a une petite poussette alors pour pas parce qu'il y avait une belle maison Stallone. Il y avait des des meubles et tout bien. Et puis j'étais un peu fâché. J'ai dit à Steven, je t'attends dehors. Ah oui. Parking, voilà. Et vous êtes non, ça a pris deux heures. Il n'est pas il n'est pas venu. Il n'est pas venu. What about Steven Seagal? He came to tell Steven Seagal. Yeah, I'm Steven Seagal. Okay, Hello. okay. <laughs> 45 minutes, he's making him wait, sitting there by himself. Finally, Steven Seagal emerges from one of the other ante rooms. And he comes out and he said, I just read the greatest script I've ever read in my life. Really? Who wrote it? I did. <laughs> uh, Steven Seagal had just met with the Dalai Lama. And apparently, if you give enough money to the Dalai Lama's charities, eventually you get something out of it. Right. And so the Dalai Lama made him a deity, a god. <laughs> so, <laughs> so really appealed to his ego. So anyway, he comes to the set after he makes you the Dalai Lama, and he comes, now he's a god. He comes, now he's Steven Seagal, the god, the deity from the Dalai Lama. Uh -huh. And he comes to the set. I just met with the Dalai Lama, and he, in his wisdom, decided to make me 
the deity. You know, I feel a difference. I feel like I, an enlightenment, the sense of, <laughs> that I can do something now. <laughs> and everything just seems to come into place for me, spiritually and in my career. And I feel like it's certain, certain things now that never made sense to me, make sense to me on a universal level. And his assistant comes up to him and says, Hey, Stephen, uh, your, your ex-wife called. She can't bring the kids over this weekend. You tell that fucking cunt. If she doesn't get those kids over here, I'll break her fucking neck. Steven uh, Seagal, first of all, he's a punk. And uh, the last time I saw him in 98, I stood on his jam my forehead in his face and bent him over like a banana. I said, no, right here, right now, in front of 200 people, including Chuck Norris, Howard Jackson, and 198 other people. My wife. I stood on his foot and jammed my forehead in his face. I was just going to headbutt him out of his shoes, double A, take him down, kick his face in. I could already see the blood on the floor. He cried like a little banana. I don't want to fight you, boo-hoo-hoo. And then he ran away. Okay, probably the most martial artists, their biggest weakness is their ego. Right. Steven Seagal is a perfect example. There's a saying that at the feast of egos, everyone goes home hungry. So when somebody like clown, fat boy, Seagull comes along and starts disrespecting people like Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee. That's what I called him in his school and offered him to dance, and he didn't want to dance. He's an egotist. He's a flake. Can't fight a lick. His whole system is he's 6'4 with ponytail, and if he breaks 17 arms, he couldn't break my grandmother's arm. He's a flake. He's living in Russia. Now. Can't come back to America. Too many sex charges. He's not a nice person. I feel sorry for him. Because the guy was gifted, 6'4", you know, when I was dancing with him, he was 300 pounds. Now I hear he's 450. He never gave anybody any respect. Nobody was as good as him. But when it came time to dance, he didn't want to dance. He's a punk.